Noon, more than 50% of students in Gwinnett County qualify for free and or reduced lunch, and many of them rely on school lunches for food for the day. Right, so now school is out, and the county is going to be filling that meal gap throughout the summer. Atlanta News First, Asia Wilson is live for us at Rhodes Jordan Park in Lawrenceville. It's one of many distribution locations for families. Yeah, you're exactly right. Rhodes Jordan Park is one of 20 locations where people can get shelf stable food every day of the week. And you see it here, chicken tenders, pop tarts. You can get that from 11 until one. And we've been seeing uh, people come through already today. Now the Gwinnett Summer Meals Program kicked off yesterday and will run until August 2nd. There are 20 locations throughout the county spanning from Buford to Snellville, Duluth, all over. At each location, you're able to get sacks of food, which has two meals in it. That's lunch for the day and breakfast for tomorrow. Now, kids do not have to be present for pickups. Families with children 18 years and under qualify for the program. They're also offering it to adults with disabilities age 19 and older. The director for the Gwinnett County County Parks and Rec says this program is beneficial to so many families, adding that during the school year, more than 50% of students in the county qualify for free and reduced lunch. And one pre-med college student says she's happy to volunteer this summer to help those in need. I mean, that's a lot of kids. And so when you're not, when those kids are getting those free meals at school and now school's out, that may have been one of the only places they were getting a meal. So we're just trying to fill that meal gap uh, the best way we can. So to actually give the food to people and see their reactions for the first time is actually going to be, I don't know, fulfilling. Now, officials say they will also offer these meals on county holidays like Juneteenth and July 4th. Another fun fact, last year they gave out more than 230,000 meals throughout the summer for this program and they're also looking for more volunteers because this program is steadily growing. We have all of the details including how you can volunteer right now on this web on our website on this story. We're live this afternoon in Lawrenceville, Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First.